We've been hit with some big news. <coughs> Second try. We've been hit. <coughs> Too much videos, my voice just. We've been hit with some big news related to One UI 7, and this time the news isn't so good. Now, I'm not sure how bad this is, but to be honest, I just tested this a bit and it's not looking great. Guys, let me tell you the news and then I'm gonna give you the whole story because this thing that finished now started a while ago. When you are trying to look online, you can see that this was announced November 2021. So it was like almost like four years ago. And now the thing is that they are going to discontinue and support for DeX PC on Windows starting One UI 7. And Samsung encouraged their customers to connect their phones to a PC using the Windows Link app. Now, this makes sense, being Samsung and Microsoft doing things together, like in the past, Samsung already teamed up with Google, replaced even some of the system apps like Messages. And of course, now Samsung are playing the same game with Microsoft. One very quick off topic, Samsung is also terminating the download of Edge panels, which is a bummer because a lot of people are using the Edge panels and they just go inside the store and they download what not apps for the Edge panels. And now suddenly Samsung informed us, sorry, but we want you to know that when you update to One UI 7, you will not longer be able to download new ones, but the ones you currently have will stay on the phone, which is really a lame move. Now back to the main news. Sadly, the DeX client for Windows will no longer be supported. Let's hope that it's going to work, but once you put One UI 7, it's not clear. And we have to use the Windows link up, the phone link. I'm going to show this all to you guys. And um, before we start, just some thoughts. What I liked about the Samsung DeX client is that I just put my phone to a cable to the PC and then start the DeX Windows client and I have DeX experience. Now, the DeX function will not go away from the phone because this is, I mean, really important for a lot of people out there. I myself also use it from time to time. But the thing is to use DeX now, you have to either connect this wirelessly to your phone or use a USB-C to HDMI adapter, which isn't great. So like, why, why are you removing this? Some people still use that. But okay guys, in this video I want to show you the Samsung PC Dex clan that will just go away in the oblivion, just rest in rest peace, in rest. nice to meet you, bye bye. And then I want to share with you the Windows Phone link up because it's supposed to do same things, access your gallery, your messages and etc. But there is a small difference, so let's explore it. I have connected the phone to my PC and now I'm going to start Dex, I just typed Dex. So this is Samsung DeX app for Windows. This is the one that will not get support after we upgrade to One UI 7 and we all will have to upgrade to One UI 7 to hopefully get nice and smooth animation and whatnot new features. And anyway, when you buy the S25 phones, they will be with One UI 7. I've started DeX, clicked on the menu and now Samsung DeX will start. So guys, Samsung DeX, this is it. This will still be here but not within this app, so you need to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter or do it wirelessly. So very briefly about Samsung DeX, it really transforms your whole PC, like the phone takes over. So I'm using here my keyboard, as you can see, and also my mouse, and I really like it. You have this taskbar here. It really feels like a desktop operating system, so I can access all my apps here. I can go inside the gallery. I can then also start AliExpress and buy some stuff from China that I don't really need, but but nevertheless, why not? The idea is I have multi-window. Yes, even some games work in this mode. Of course, here, guys, I get all my notification. And I, just look at this. It really looks like a desktop operating system. I really love it. And again, this thing isn't going away, but you're not going to be able to just hook up your phone to a USB-C cable and then enjoy it, which I think is stupid. The new thing is called phone link. The setup is easy. I did it with my Outlook account. It will generate a QR code. You have to scan it with the phone, enter some code. Now this is phone link up and this is what Samsung and Microsoft apparently wants us to use on the Windows PCs. And it's not bad. I can go and check my messages, my photos, my apps, if you want, probably also try to initiate calls here. When I click on the apps though, we have some options here, audio on your PC, you spoke and we listened. So apparently there are also these things there and you should be able to also start apps. I got it. When you double click an app, it's actually going to open in a separate window. And it looks quite usable by the way. I'm just try to also start this game here. 
But you know the problem with this is still it doesn't deliver this near desktop, almost desktop experience that we had with DeX. But the functionality is there, so this isn't bad. Let me just try it also to open expert role. Now what happens here, guys? Expert role. Okay, I've opened my camera. Can I go to the front camera? <laughs> I can, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you see, I mean, it, it works, right? It works. It isn't that bad. Let me just also try to open home. All right, home is here. Okay, so access to apps works. Now, we don't have the system tray with the taskbar and everything else. It's here, but from here I can set various modes. I can search for my phone. I have all my notifications. So at the end of the day, the phone link isn't that bad. Now, let's try to edit a photo. Let's open the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra. Let's try to edit this because with Samsung DeX, I was able to use the Samsung Stock Gallery Photo Editor. Here, let's open this. I can open this with my desktop apps, but I want to use Samsung functionality. And apparently, we cannot do this. So there are really limitations, guys. This is just like an overlay. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, I have to do a lot of takes sometimes for a thumbnail to work. What's new? Okay, let's check what's new, guys. Share files between your mobile and PC. This is good, like copy and paste some stuff around. Copy text from photos. No Wi-Fi, no problem. You can just use your phone as a hotspot. Office mobile documents, make calls, and of course, then you can start up. So certainly a lot of things are here, but also some things are missing. My notifications, again, features. These features will work on my S24 Ultra. Notification, messages, photos, apps. No videos. Calls, you can also use the phone link to make calls. Sync over mobile data, wallpaper, you can transfer files like cross device, copy and paste. So you see, it is actually limited. And let me just restart DeX and show you why. How can you compare this? Look at this. This really is so full-fledged. Okay, I open a photo. This right here is the Xiaomi 15 that is submerged in ice water. If you're excited, you might watch these videos. Now, let me show you something, guys. I will click edit here and I'll get access to the Samsung Stock Gallery Editor, which is great, which is something that you're not getting with using phone link. Object eraser. This thing isn't gonna work, right? with the phone link. So honestly, I have mixed feelings. Again, the DeX functionality is still gonna be here, so they're just discontinuing the Windows DeX app, but this was very convenient because you only require your charging cable and pretty much plug it on your PC. Now you'll have to go and use USB-C to HDMI, and I'm pretty sure that, yes, Samsung and Microsoft and Microsoft were like, oh, what, you have DeX? No, we have something better. You can install the phone link so much better you know every yes everything works no no it's not like this all right guys this is it the big news for today and i really hope that you have enjoyed this video if that's the case go and watch some of my other videos submerging the xiaomi 15 in ice water putting it in my freezer and whatnot thank you so much for watching stay safe vst over and bye